Hello everyone and welcome to The Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. Well, the liberals are at it again, but before we get to it, let's make sure we understand what we mean by liberal. There's a classical definition that's pretty flattering, but that's not what we're talking about. Liberal, in the modern lexicon, refers to someone who thinks their thoughts are superior to everyone else's thoughts simply because they are their thoughts. Most of their thinking is, in fact, inferior. It doesn't take into account facts, history, or even common sense. Liberals are profoundly arrogant and hypocritical, exuding a pretended care for the less fortunate, all the while looking on them with disdain and only considering the less fortunate as a stepping stone to some other goal. Liberals exist in all walks of life, politics, entertainment, education, law, theology. We know the enormous damage that they've all done and inflicted on society in all of those areas, but it is specifically the liberal corruption of theology and philosophy that has caused the most damage because it has greatly eroded the ability of people to think clearly. In this manner, liberals have succeeded wildly, probably beyond even their own expectations. In the church, for example, example, liberals have eradicated the notion of sin among the laity. In philosophy, liberals have ripped the carpet out from under logical thought. What their actions have resulted in is most Catholics being unable to discern the evil behind liberal ideas. For example, the President of the United States keeps popping up in front of Catholic groups and universities and preaching about common ground. His minions travel all over the country yammering on about common ground. His lapdog media allies keep blathering on about common ground. But the well-trained and truly Catholic mind recognizes immediately there is no such thing as common ground with evil, no matter how appealing it may seem. Moreover, in the case of abortion, you cannot logically speak of seeking common ground on the issue of abortion by trying to reduce the number of abortions. Why not? Because the two issues are totally unrelated. On the one hand is abortion, a living baby. The question before us with this case, therefore, is can you kill the child or not? That's its own issue. The question of reducing the need for abortion is an entirely different question, as Obama himself has said. In his opinion, and it isn't just his opinion, not a decree from God, the question here is about tackling poverty. Well, that's all fine and well and good, but poverty is not abortion. One is about a living condition, the other is about murder. We can sit around and talk about how to reduce poverty. There's no discussion about reducing abortion. You reduce abortion by ending it, period. But see, liberals like to talk, and talk, and talk. See, they call it dialogue. I call it, well, I can't say it on TV. As long as they keep people talking, the killing goes on. And by the way, after nearly 50 years of talking, I don't see much improvement in the area of poverty either. By the way, did I mention liberals are also self-delusional liars? I'm Michael Voris. Please help us keep delivering these kinds of messages that so desperately need to be heard and acted on. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber Become immersed in the faith established by Jesus Christ. The Catholic Church is the only hope against evil because that is its God-given mission. As our Lord said, apart from me, you can do nothing. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber and come to learn and love Christ more deeply.